<laughs> hey, hello. Long time no see. Hey, how are you doing? Are you well? Good. How's life treating you? How's life treating you? Busy. Yeah. Busy with family. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Are they well? Yeah, I, I do. Yeah, it's yeah. a yeah. secret room because yeah. 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 I'm walking a lot, yeah. yeah. Abbas, I got a question for you. <laughs> yes. Right. Well, I'm rusty, you know. I haven't been here for a while. So. That's all right. You, yeah. you know me, bro. I, yeah. Like, sincere people get a sincere attitude. Plus, I don't have my phone today. I forgot my phone. That is totally fine. There's no trick question here. No trick questions, Abbas. Right, so the Quran obviously states that if Allah had so willed, he could adopt from amongst creation anything as a son. Right? You know that verse in the Quran. Yeah. Right? And the Quran also states that it says to Allah says to Muhammad, Say, O Muhammad, if Allah had had a son, I would have been the first to bow down in worship. Are you aware of that verse? Yeah. yeah. Right. So here's my question. Why is Allah saying that something created, if it was adopted by Allah, would be worthy of worship. I think there are two different contexts as far as I remember. One context is talking about in a way like Jesus, begotten son kind of a thing. Yeah. If God has son like that one, yeah. that would have been God. Go on. Anyway, I would have worshipped him. I think the other context is talking about, probably, if I'm not wrong, I don't have phone with me, talking about the pagan view of God. Because pagans believe that God has daughters, yeah. adopters and all that. Yeah. So it's addressing two different audiences and two different things. Right. One is about the Christians. Christian way of God, I would have worshipped. Yes. The other God says he, he could have adopted uh, if, any, if he wanted to have, he could have adopted it. Okay, so, so, different. okay so taking that on board, you've still, you, you've actually doubled your problems, Abbas. Because firstly, the, the Quran is in error when it addresses Christians. So Christians don't believe that Jesus Christ adopted, uh, sorry, we don't believe as Christians that Jesus Christ was adopted by yeah. the Father. Yeah, that's not, I, that's, I say that's, that passage is not addressing Christians. Right, that okay, so you're saying that's addressing anybody right. else. Right, okay, it's addressing anyone else. But the other verse, the other verse, which says that if Allah had a son, it's like right, Christians yes, if Allah had a son, I would, I would be the first bow, yeah. to bow down and worship. Let but the problem is, right, so here's the thing. These two verses are not mutually exclusive. One can synergize with the other. Because if Allah adopts a son, and I'll, therefore Allah has a son, that son is worthy of worship, according well, to Allah. Well, I'm saying they are not same synergizing as you're saying. They no, no, are, they but they not. can synergize, can't they? Because one is not exclusive to the other. Because one is saying, if Allah had a son, I would be the first to bow down and worship. And Allah says, if I had wanted to have a son, I could have adopted any of my creatures. And I'm saying one so is... So why would a creature be worthy of worship? Okay, let's say if... Let's say synergize. Synergize meaning if God decided to adopt someone, he has given him that authority to become God himself. Right. I'm saying that. So even adopted, the adoption of God will not be adoption of like any... So the else. logic of Allah is that Allah, that Allah can create another God. But, but he doesn't. But that's Allah's logic. Allah's logic is, according to you, that if Allah adopts a created thing as a son, that he has given that son the authority to be God. So that's God creating another but God. That, that's why I said God is not doing it. Can God create another God? No, when I say, in Allah, Allah Kulishen, yeah. God has power over everything. Yes. Meaning, whatever matter He decides, He will do it. Can He create but another he God? He will never decide that. You know why? The same way the God wouldn't lie. Can He lie? Yes, maybe, but He wouldn't because that's ungodly. So doing that would be ungodly. So that's, we do not believe that would happen. But to make us understand, if that would have been the case, that would have been a God as well. Now, that will never be the case. As much as I'm tempted to segue now into whether Allah lied about Jesus' crucifixion, I'm not going to get sidetracked. I want to stay on the topic of the debate. But the, the topic of the debate is that the Quran is saying that Allah could adopt a son. Uh, uh, if. Yeah, yeah, if. if, if, yes, yes, yes. No, the if is there, if. To make us understand. Right, but the point is, but the, exactly. But the point is, if Allah adopts a son, and what makes him God is that he's giving him the authority of God, then that means that a created thing has been made a God. And that's illogical. 
So why, why, is, why, is, the, why is there contradictory logic inside Allah's thinking? Why are you, are you telling me there, is, there are some things that are totally impossible for God to do? I am saying that Allah, that God doesn't create other gods. He can't. Why not? Because to create another God means that they're not God because a created being is that the, the, the one of the attributes of God is that he is uncreated. And so if you are created, you can't be God. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, this is but a, if your this defense... Is a philosophy and the Kalam kind of a thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, you're a Mutasilite, so you've got no problem I'm with philosophy. I'm not Mutasilite. Who says I'm, I'm a Muslim? You but said on not, record you're a Mutasilite. I, I never said that. You said that you believe that no, the Quran is created. I, yeah, but that doesn't make me Mutasilite. I mean, one part of Mutasilite... I've got a lot of Muslims here who call no, you no, Mutasilite. That, that, that means that part of Mutasilite, I agree. Yeah. There are some parts of Shia says, right? Even something Christian will say, I agree with that, that doesn't make me Christian. What agreed, is, agreed, I'm that's a, fair. I'm a seeker of truth. So whoever say right, I'll take it. That's what I'm saying. Right. I'm, I'm a Muslim. I'm neither Sunni, neither Shia. I'm just a Muslim. Fair enough. So as a, as a Muslim, as an open-minded Muslim who's thinking about things and is sincere in finding the truth, and I actually think, Abbas, you are. Yeah, yeah, like, I, I, we do love you, genuinely. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you've been out socializing. Yeah, good. Thanks, bro. Oh, kiss. <laughs> Let's bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> no, no, hey. You are my human... Uh, brother, brother, amen. And, and, that, and that feeling is reciprocated. Yeah. Yeah. So, but my point to you is this, that inside the Quran, as Allah has demonstrated an argument, Allah has demonstrated illogical thinking because Allah has suggested that he can create another God worthy of worship by simply adopting them. And that is irrational thinking. Okay, I'm, I'm going to give you a quick answer to that because as I say, I'm not, I didn't come prepared okay. for that. But if you want to talk about it next week, I will come next come week. Come back well. next week, yes. Well, quickly, I will say, Allah is saying, uh, to, telling us two things. Nothing is impossible for God. He's telling us that. Yeah. Secondly, He's saying to us, it's if. He's not going to do that, but to make us understand yeah. that if God, God is possible, He can do that. Yeah. If He does that, that will be God's will. Yeah. That's, that's a quick answer I can give, but I know it's not sufficient for you. But, but you, you can see the rationality behind that, right? Because a God by attribute is uncreated. If Allah is creating another God, then, then, then that is not God. And so anything that Allah adopts as a son shouldn't be worshipped. But Allah is saying to Muhammad that if he had adopted a son, that Muhammad should worship that son, which is shirk. Now, the, the other problem with your argument, I'll leave you with this thought, Abbas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other problem with your argument, Abbas, is that Muhammad participates in the authority of Allah. So that means that Muhammad is godlike. Because Muhammad participates in the authority of Allah. Remember that verse in the Quran that says, when it, it is not right for a believer to question a matter when it is decided by Allah and the Prophet. You know what you're doing right now? You're really dragging me into a lot of things and I, I can answer that, but I will... You want to refrain? Right now. All right. Next week, same thing, we'll talk about it. So I'll be more prepared and yeah. I'll answer you that. Come, come and talk to me next week. argument is going to go longer yeah. and longer and longer and you're going to keep I want, going. Uh, Abbas, I want to give you a gift. So next week, we'll talk about this, yeah? This, questions you I want, and, uh, yeah i want to give you a gift of us okay. yeah. so this is i know you've got a bible yeah, yeah. you have got a bible right yeah here's a here's a gospel of mark and, and it's got lots of commentary notes to help someone study the faith so it's literally like it just talks about a you know the phrases yeah, but i got like bible how and then it, there's all the commentaries well this is well, my yeah. gift to you yeah okay i'll take it but to i help you maybe study you the give faith. somebody who hasn't studied these kind of things I, well, do, I do read it, Bible. It doesn't help you to have more resources okay. to learn about the Christian faith more. <laughs> come after you. Because if you're a sincere, <laughs> exactly, to come because you. if you're a sincere searcher for truth, yeah. then you want to delve into truth, do you not? Yeah. And I believe, Abbas, that you are a sincere searcher for truth. <laughs> I hope so. I, I hope so. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. God knows best. Yeah, and, yeah, but, yeah. but I am sure that if you give Christian, Christianity a fair shake, and you take the time to understand Christianity in its own terms, you'll realize that it is the truth. Mm. But what I'm saying is... And I, I want to leave I, you with that I'm challenge. A, I'm a Muslim. Yeah. I find nothing wrong in Islam. So so some, some, something I don't find anything wrong. I have to have a good reason to leave it. Yeah. To go anywhere else. And I think so I, I find no reason to leave it. So I'm sorry. I can't take a chance to just try something else. And I think I've given you, I think I've given you a very clear evidence to leave Islam which is that if you're God, 
uses logic that even you can recognize is fallacious to make an argument. If you can think better than your God, then your, the book that you're believing in is not from I God. I gave you a very a short answer, but next week... I don't I believe give, it dealt I, with the problem. I give you a, de uh, a detailed answer. Great. Next week. We'll debate it next week. I, we'll debate about it. All right, this. you look after yourself, Abbas. God bless you. Take care. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All right. How you doing? You got me for one minute. One minute. I've got five questions about Christianity. In Let's do it here.